Lesson 7.5, one dollar as coins. We can show the value of one dollar with coins. So this is a dollar bill. Here's the front and it's got George Washington on the front. Mine says school money because this is fake money to teach with. On the back, we can see there's a pyramid. There's a giant one written here to tell us it's one dollar. And right here is the great seal of the United States. And notice how in the corners it's got a one because it's a one dollar bill. See? One dollar can be written as a dollar sign right here. We write a one, that's the number of dollars. Then we've got a decimal point, And then we've got the number of cents. So one dollar has no cents. It would be a zero, zero where the cents are. And this decimal point separates the dollars from the cents. It goes right in between them. One dollar is equal to 100 cents. One dollar has the same value as 100 pennies. We count 100 cents for one dollar. One dollar can be shown as four quarters. One quarter is 25 cents. Two quarters would be 50 cents. Three quarters would be 75 cents. Four quarters would be 100 cents. And 100 cents is equal to one dollar. One dollar can be shown as 10 dimes. They're each 10 we can count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 cents. And 100 cents is equal to one dollar. So 10 dimes are equal to one dollar. How many nickels would we need to draw to show one dollar? And we think we can draw nickels as we skip count by fives until we have drawn 100 cents. We can do five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100 cents. Now we can count them. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It would take 20 nickels to make a dollar. Now we know that these are each five cents and two of them would be 10 cents, wouldn't they? Remember we said it would take 10 dimes to make a dollar? We can make a 10 cents. That's two 10 cents. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's why it's ten dimes to make a dollar, but twenty nickels to make a dollar. Let's try some higher order thinking skills. It says Tala has these coins. Draw more coins to show one dollar. We think. We count the value of the coins that are shown, then draw and count on to one dollar. So we count them. We have two quarters and two dimes. So we have 25 and 25, that's 50, and 10 more is 60, and 10 more is 70. So we know she has 70 cents. We need to draw coins for a dollar. We can count on by tens, 70 cents. If we draw a dime, that's 80 cents. If we draw another dime, that's 90 cents. And if we draw another dime, that would be 100 cents. That would be a dollar. We also could have drawn six nickels 
and broken these apart into five cents and five cents. We also could have drawn 30 pennies, but it was a lot easier to just draw three dimes. Bob paid this amount for a hamburger. How much did he pay? We need to circle the amount to make the sentence true. Bob paid, we don't know which amount yet because we haven't counted, for a hamburger. We need to circle the correct amount. So we can start by counting the dollar. We know that we have one dollar. Then we count the coins from greatest value to least value. The greatest value coin would be this quarter. And these pennies would be the least. So we can put the quarter here. Then I see a dime. That's the next greatest value. Then the nickels would be the next greatest value. And then the pennies. We have 25 for the quarter. 10 more for the dime. Now we're at 35. We can put these two nickels together as 10 and go from 35. These are 10. So now we're at 45, 46, 47, 48. That's a dollar and 48 cents. So Bob paid a dollar 48 cents for a hamburger. And I could have counted the coins as 25 and 10 more is 35 and 5 more is 40 and 5 more is 45. But it's easy to count by 10. So I just put the two nickels together and counted it as a 10 and went from 35 to 45 right away. We can write $1 with the dollar sign and our decimal point. Or we can write 100 cents with the cents sign. But we only use one sign. We wouldn't put them together. We would either write it this way with the dollar sign or this way with the cent sign. You don't use both. In our next lesson, 7.6, we're going to talk about amounts greater than a dollar, like the money Bob paid for his hamburger. Have a wonderful day. I hope you'll join me for next time. Bye.